Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. When the router powers on, the indicator will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slender object to push it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. The other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Well done on connecting to the router. Now let's go ahead and set it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. On the first page, click here. Next, check the box here and click the Continue button. Then click OK. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. So, on the Setup tab in the Language section, you can select the preferred interface language. In the Internet Setup section, select the Internet Connection Type. Usually, it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, select this one. 
it's the most common option. In the DHCP server settings section, make sure this is set to enabled. And in the time settings section, you can change your time zone. Now save the settings. Go to the wireless tab. Select the manual option. Here, in the network name field, you can change the name of your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Wireless Security tab. On this page, choose the security mode as I did. Here, in the Passphrase field, you can set or change the password for your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Setup tab and reboot the router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully restarts. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Setup tab. Open the MAC address clone section. Here, click Enabled. Then click the Clone My PC's MAC button. Save the settings and you'll need to reboot the router again. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.